Crime was committed and we covered it up. What crime? Palmer. Now what was stolen from him. I think it's time I came clean. Scott. Stop. You see, Palmer was my friend. And right before he died, he talked to me about a joint venture on his nanotechnology breakthrough. Please don't But do Palmer this. died before we could go through with it without registering the device. So you put your name on it. Made it Chandler property. That's right. I'm not proud of what I did. No, I didn't think anybody would get hurt. <sighs> I saw a chance to make a name for myself and I took it. I got a name for you. Damn fool. Hey, babe. I miss you. Hi. I miss you too, baby. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. fine. Listen, uh, I thought I'd come by and take you to lunch. Oh, uh... Angela? I yeah, yeah. I I I'm here, honey. I think someone needs me. Listen, that sounds great. I'll see you later, okay? Dr. I love you. Angie, didn't mean to interrupt. Hi. Hey. How was your father? I was just wondering when I can question that robbery suspect in 204. Well, the floor nurse should have an update. Okay. You got anything else on your mind? No. Why? Well, I may not be able to see, but I'm getting pretty good at reading voices. All right. Yeah. I guess I am a little upset. I'm listening. I mean, you talk to Crystal about Brat and I like we're in some sort of relationship, but we're not. Okay. I, I, I'm sorry, but I don't appreciate you talking about us when there's nothing going on. There's nothing. Well, from that tone that you're taking, it leads me to believe there is. You wouldn't happen to know when the next detective exam is, would you? No, not right offhand. Could you find out for me? Sure, I can do that. Brat, you gotta be patient. I mean, you haven't been on the force that long. I know that, Chief, but I've seen other officers get promoted to detective, and they haven't been around that long either. Other officers? You wouldn't happen to be talking about Natalia, would you? Listen, Natalia's a good cop. And she deserves the promotion. But she's a detective now, and you're not. That's not the issue. Hmm? I think maybe it is. I also think maybe you don't like being bossed around by her. Files from your car and a fresh cup of coffee, black. Did you call the courthouse? Yeah, they said you can't have the files till tomorrow afternoon. Obviously that doesn't work because Greenlee's trial starts tomorrow morning. Which is why I told them you have to have it today. They'll be ready in a couple hours. I could have said that in the beginning. Did you pick up my dry cleaning? Already done. My shoes? In your office. And before you ask, I called the city attorney and canceled your appointment. Anything else? Uh, yeah, I need two copies of this before we leave. I'll use Crystal's machine. You're not going to torture me into quitting. I need this job. Hi, Why honey. did you hire Damon, Mom? I, I told you I, I needed an assistant and uh, he needed a job. Come on, Mom. I know you better than that. It's your game plan this time. No, no, just, just give the girls my love, okay? I love you, too. Hi. Hi. Erica? Yeah, we're trying to keep things normal for the sake of the kids, but... It's hard, I know. Yeah, it is. What do you got there? Uh, the latest from Liza. You do know that a large part of my defense hinges on me proving that there were other people in this town who wanted Hayward dead, right? I know. And that's scary. Paying people as possible suspects. Yeah. I wish there was another way. But it's the truth. David had enemies. I mean, God forgive me, there were many times I wanted to see that man planted in the ground. And I'll testify to that if you need me to. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. But thank you for your kind offer and thank you for everything else you've done. I just want to help. And we've done more than that. You know, it's very difficult for me to talk to Erica about Greeley because their relationship is so... 
complicated. Complicated. <laughs> That's putting a smile on it. Mm. Screw this up. My daughter goes to prison for the rest of her life, so what do you say? Maybe I shouldn't screw this up? No, listen. You're not gonna screw it up. And you wanna know why? This is family. And you fight hardest for that. I'm doing what needs to be done. Good for you. But you think this makes you heroic? It makes you a coward. It's long overdue. No, what's overdue is you getting the hell out of here. Let the big boys talk. Oh, I'd, I'd like to hear what he has to say. He doesn't have anything to say, Caleb. Because he is nothing. He just doesn't realize it yet. Shut up, JR. Don't say anything else. It's not too late. You can still save yourself. No, Annie. It is too late. Because it's over. Oh. It's not what you think between Brat and me. Well, why don't you tell me what it is, then? I don't even know. But it, it, I mean, we've been out a few times, but even one of them was even considered a date, technically. I don't know. But it's safe to say that you like each other. We argue constantly. Well, that's not what I ask. All right, yeah, I mean, he's an amazing person. But I'm his superior, which makes it tricky well you know actually from personal experience and as chief of staff I do have strong opinions about relationships in the workplace especially when one person has power over the other no 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 Brat and I were never in a relationship and it's not gonna it's, it's not gonna become anything like that well whatever you're calling this thing you're keeping it from your boss who also happens to be your father. He has enough on his plate. Look, don't use what's going on between me and your dad to keep you from doing the right thing. Well, I can't confide in him to keep it from the mayor when she's writing him nonstop. Then go through proper channels. Follow protocol. Angie, I could be transferred. And so could Brat. I mean, the, what's the point of that when there's... It's not that serious. And it never would be serious, would it? What does that mean? Has there ever been anyone serious, Natalia? Have you ever been in love? Looks like that last surgery went pretty good for you, huh? Yes, sir. And the eye's working a lot better now. And that ambition is all pumped up, too, eh? Come on, Chief. You know. You know I can be a good yeah, detective. I know you can. I also know that Natalia can be uh, uh, a little abrasive at times. Let's not forget stubborn as well. Yeah. Well, I guess I can take a little credit for that. Well, I want to talk about you, Chief. Yeah, relax, soldier. It's true. She's tough. That's uh, can be a good thing. Trust me talking about Angie? Absolutely. Listen, Chief, don't get me wrong. I admire Natalia and everything she's been able to accomplish. I mean, she climbed the ranks and she did it the right way. It's just the fact that hey, you just want to be where she is. I get that. And you will. <sighs> One of these days. I didn't say that. One of these days. Listen, you need to know that I am on board with you wanting to be all you can be. Thank you, Chief. Yeah, one question, though. Say you do get this promotion. What do you think is going to happen to your relationship with Natalia? I mean, you could have, like, hired a law school student to be your assistant. Yeah, I could have. Yeah, and you hired Damon, and I want to know why. Honey, I told you why. He needed, he needed a job, and you needed an assistant. Yeah. You told me that. 
Or, or maybe it's because uh, you want to keep tabs on me <laughs> and tabs. What, what, do you, what do you want me to do? Hmm? Do you want me to fire him? No, I don't want you to fire him. He stepped up on the job. Don't do that. Okay, so... Yeah. Hey, Hi. you're not on the DA's schedule. No, but can I be on yours? Mm -hmm. Let's grab something to eat. If I'm finished here, am I finished here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for now. Um, I just want to know if it's all right if I, I just ask you how things are going. Have you declared a major? Are you still going to go to the Fashion Institute? Just because you hired my boyfriend doesn't mean I'm letting you back into my life. Okay. All right, you said enough. We need an attorney. I don't need one. I, I want to speak to Scott alone. I don't think that's a good idea. He's still my husband. Don't tell me what to do. You need to stay out of this. You must be crazy if you think that you're going to destroy everything that I worked for. Deal with it. We both know you didn't just develop a conscience. You're getting back at me because I slept with your wife. JR! I mean, that's what it's really about, Caleb. A weak, jealous man who can't stand the fact that his wife never loved him. That is not true. So he just goes around and makes up whatever lie that just pops into his you head. You just keep on talking. It doesn't change anything, because what I've said here today is the truth. Something the Chandlers aren't very good at facing, mind you, but that's what I'm doing, no matter what the consequences. Boy, you people are really something. You know, frankly, I don't, I don't give a damn who slept with who around here, but you... Pretended to be my uncle's friend, and then you screwed him over. And now you're gonna pay.